Hey, welcome to Carswell's Customs. Today I'm going to take some HP Tuner data logs, uh, clean up the information a little bit, and then upload it into uh, ChatGPT for some analysis. So I have a uh, one of my first tunes here from my Audi A4, and get that out of the way. Yeah. And so we've got RPM in red, throttle position in green, boost desired, and Manifold, ap manifold absolute pressure in blue here on top. Now the boost desired in the map, um, they're both uh, graduated the same level. So they're showing atmospheric pressure plus, plus boost pressure. So if we look at what's going on here, if we look at the RPMs as it goes up, we're at 5,700 RPMs and the throttle position down here at the bottom is accelerator pedal, and then this is the corresponding throttle position up here. So as we're looking at the RPMs as they increase, our desired map um, from 4,700 is falling off um, from boost desired at 29 and coming down to 25. So this issue was either um, software related or hardware related i thought i had a boost leak uh inside the uh, the system like maybe the um, uh, blow off valve had went bad i had read some places where audi's uh, blow off valves um, once you get a few miles on them they they tend to go south so uh, i purchased a a new blow off valve to see if this boost pressure um, loss would be um, uh, corrected with that so uh, this is the initial first log, and I'm going to bring up the, uh, the second log now. Okay, so this is after I changed the uh, uh, blow-off valve to an aftermarket blow-off valve with a uh, uh, stiffer spring. Um, you can see that accelerator pedal goes to 80%, which is the maximum value. The TPS is at 86%, and so as I've got my foot in it, the... Um, RPM is increasing all the way up. Well, let's see. Let's see. The RPMs go up to 5,900 on this on this run. But as as you can see, as we progress, as the RPMs increase, the boost desired falls off, and the man, manifold absolute pressure falls off as well. So, and that's not commanded by my foot anywhere, right? So I changed the. Um, a mechanical part in the Audi and to to help with the acceleration but it doesn't seem uh, while everything's better as you can see the manifold absolute pressure is quite a bit higher than than uh, than previous I think I I helped the boost leak but I'm still having a uh, desired boost pressure fall off and we can see down here our wastegate duty cycle so that's now active um, in this run which is um, a, a big change from the previous one. So let's switch gears from here, and we'll switch gears into the uh, stage four tune that I applied to the Audi. So here's an image of the blow-off valve and the stage four tune together. And so right here we see the accelerator pedal increasing to full throttle. The uh, TPS throttle position sensor is showing 88%, which is full throttle or whatever. Um, and we have our boost desired goes up to 33 and then our manifold absolute pressure 24 is catching up to that. So as we look at this, we get to about here and even though we have our foot in it still, accelerator um, position is still floored and the TPS is still way up there. We have a decrease in boost desired, right? right from about here. You'll see this orange um, line go down and then the uh, map sensor um, is detecting a decrease in boost as well. So what's with this long intro, right? Why don't we just get to the point? So the problem here is I need to find out why or if there's a parameter that's changing that I don't see or something written in the software that's reducing that boost pressure um, without me commanding it. Because you can see from both lines, my foot's in it. 
So how are we going to figure this out? Well, what we'll do is we're going to export this file, um, this data log, into a CSV um, Excel document and then upload it to uh, ChatGPT. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll take our log file and we're going to go ahead and go to export log file. And then .csv is comma separated uh, values or text here, but um, that's, a, that's a format that's readable by um, ChatGPT because you can punch that into uh, Microsoft Excel. So we'll do the entire log and then uh, interpolating data gaps, that's fine. Okay, so here's our log file as as it's saved within um, the HP Tuners data log. And you can see our values. These are the, uh, the actual values up here, or the titles. And then here's the values that are uh, recorded. So now that we have this in a CSV document, um, we'll have to clean it up. And I do have a prompt for ChatGPT to do that, but let's just do it manually first, that way we can understand what's going on. So what's important to ChatGPT here? Um, let's see, probably just the column values. And as you can see, engine RPM, mass airflow, timing advance, you know, yada, yada, yada. So this is the data we need, or ChatGPT needs to actually um, give us some help. So let's take this, and we'll blow this all away. We don't need that. So we're going to right-click this and go to delete, all right? And then now we have the top cell. God, this stupid co-pilot thing gets like right in the way of everything. I don't think it's any good either. Um, so we've got all our titles as columns. And then now ChatGPT can interpolate or, or use this information to draw conclusions. So what I'll do is save this to my desktop and then upload it into an instance of ChatGPT. Oh, one more thing, just to make this a little easier. Let's take these two out as well. Delete. Okay. Okay. So I wrote a pretty big prompt here. Um, so, hey, ChatGPT. Help me diagnose a boost pressure decrease as RPM is increasing. So I put the most important thing, or like the uh, uh, the actual goal of our discussion, right up front. So ChatGPT understands boost boost pressure decrease as RPM is increasing. That's the that's the problem we got to look at. So and I outline how to fix or how to analyze this. So please analyze the HP Tuner data log and pay particular attention to the boost desired in map pressures. So I'm defining the two um, parameters that are very important to me, at least from my view. Now, I could be missing something and that'll come in later on in the prompt. So the issue I am trying to solve is boost pressure is decreasing even though I have my foot on the floor, full throttle. This is just a repeat of the original um, problem statement. Sometimes repeating things inside of a prompt um, can make sure ChatGPT stays on tasks and gives you uh, information that's closer to what you're really looking for. So I'm observing an uncommanded TPS closure and uncommanded boost pressure decrease. The goal is to determine if there is a setting that I've missed to keep boost pressure up or is there a hidden software setting or if the physical flow limits of the stock exhaust have been reached and back pressure is choking off performance. Do you understand the problem and goal? Ask questions for clarification. Um, level up your, your prompting by turning ChatGPT into a, uh, um, a consultant, right? Don't just ask yes or no questions. Um, she, treat ChatGPT like somebody that's sitting at your table and you're discussing the entire project and the problem. You'll get supplemental suggestions and information that uh, can take you in a direction that'll uh, solve the problems especially things you haven't thought of yet, which is really nice. All right, here we go. Ooh, that's jumpy. So yes, I understand the issue and the goal clearly. Here's a summary to make sure we are aligned, followed by key diagnostics. Oops, guess what I did? I forgot to upload the file. Get so excited. 
So, oops, sorry, <laughs> forgot. Ooh, F O R G O T to upload. Check this out, please. Okay, so let's talk about observations. So, ChatGPT also observed that the uh, boost desired increases and tapers off. Actual boost follows the pattern. The map tracks closely with the actual boost. Uh, this confirms your observation, uh, which is good. I got it somewhat close. So here we go. Here's some possible root causes ranked by likelihood. And we'll go ahead and roll through those real quick. Torque limiting or throttle intervention. Turbo airflow limit or protected table, wastegate duty cycle, exhaust back pressure, limiting turbo flow. Okay, so let's see here. Next step, deeper diagnose, diagnostic plots. Throttle versus pedal, boost versus WGDC, I don't know, we'll figure that one out. Desired torque versus actual torque. So let's think about this. So there's electronically controlled... Um, uh, wastegate, right? So I wonder if the wastegate duty cycle has something to do with it. So um, how about the wastegate duty cycle? Does, is there evidence of boost being bled off uh, via the wastegate. So before we get deeper into this, this is the real valuable part that I found when I'm doing data analysis um, with ChatGPT. It'll he'll learn all the information on the uploaded um, documentation that you sent, and then you just ask questions inside of that. Um, it's so much faster than trying to look at it all yourself. Some people are great at it, but for everybody else trying to catch up and, and be able to tune their stuff in their own garage instead of paying somebody, this is good stuff. So here we go. Whoa. Now, I'm sure that makes sense to somebody somewhere on some planet, but um, yeah, I don't know what that is. So let's not look at that because that makes my head hurt. Um, okay, here we go. So the key findings... Wastegate duty cycle increases uh, with RPM up to a point and then starts to taper off before the boost drops. Okay, so interpretation, this is the smoking gun that the ECU is commanding the wastegate to open, which reduces boost intentionally. So the turbo could still be producing more boost, but the ECU is actively bleeding it off. Okay, not a physical flow limit yet. So... How do we know if this is something I can change in HP tuners or something that's just written inside the software that's uneditable, editable, edi I don't know, editable. So, ChatGPT, um, is there a waste gate control inside HP tuners software? Um, if you don't know, what information can I provide that um, would help? Depends on your ECU and vehicle. <laughs> Depends on your ECU and vehicle platform. Okay, okay. Here's how to check. So here we go. ECU type. All right, so now we have a troubleshooting or a uh, path that we can go down and uh, do that search. So let's go ahead and let me bring all this up quickly in the background and see if we can figure that out. Okay, I have the, um, I went to engine and then turbocharger and it looks like we've got some wastegate stuff. Here's blow off valve, yada, 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 wastegate, and max desired duty cycle. Oh, that looks interesting. 80, 65, 65 under engine speed. So let me, let's make this easy, right? And let's just do a little snippety doo here. 
this is all under the wastegate column. So I'll take that and I'm just gonna paste that right into make sure I'm rolling. Hey, I will paste some images and please analyze and notify me if they could help with the wastegate issue. Now I just hit control V after I, uh, I took this little guy, copied it, and then hit control V, which is paste. So I'm gonna paste it right into the context window. See what happens. Okay, so it's giving me some leads, which is awesome. So what if we just went to under wastegate, we went right to duty cycle, and take a look at this parameter here, this table. Da -da. Tip desired relative. Maybe that, that may be just as you uh, punch a throttle. Uh, usually that's called the tip in, but we'll uh, see what's up. How about this? Table is very relevant. Great upload. Well, you know, broken clock. Okay, so there's a lot of information in here, and I just don't think you want me to read all this to you. The point of this video is to go over how to um, pull the data, clean the data, and then send it to ChatGPT for analysis or a base so you could ask questions to ChatGPT and therefore you know, get some actionable insights. Now there's also ways that we can um, graph this information. I know we do have a graph here and that's, that's nice, but let's see if we can have ChatGPT make something for us. So great work, ChatGPT. Can you help me create a visual that shows boost pressure or map versus RPM and wastegate duty cycle? I would like this in Mermaid um, code to visualize. Okay, so here we go. Here's the Mermaid code. So let's go to Mermaid Live Editor. Let's copy this. Bring up Mermaid. Delete this. Hit Control V because we've already copied it. Ooh. That's not what I'm looking for. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Oof. Oh, this is terrible. What a mess. All right, uh, let me work on that and get back with you in the next video on how to get some visualization, visualizations going in, uh, in Mermaid or, or some other application. But thanks for watching, um, and thanks everybody who subscribed so far. I appreciate that. See ya.